so yeah, as a black woman growing up in South Central, I feel like, hey, I go through this tempest shit all the time. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'll give you a glimpse into my world. Wait in the water. Wait in the water, children, wait in the water. God's going to trouble the water. Because they call you nigger. Nigger, nigger, a natural bone dealer, a man that's enslaved in the brain, they retaliate and kill her. They call you nigga, nigga. To me, you're something realer. But any time you try, they say it's something wrong with you. You birth a nigga, they work a nigga. Scrape the shit from the bottom of your shoes and it's equivocal to your worth, nigga. Use a nigga mentally, abuse a nigga, unleash him from his physical restraints, but in his mind, he is still doing the time he embodies, nigga. House a nigga, make other niggas doubt a nigga. He starts to feel more civilized than his uncivilized counterpart. So here you have a proud nigga. Drug dealer nigga, sell out nigga, rich nigga, snitch nigga, trying to get a fix nigga to them. You're still the same nigga. But what's a woman to do with false hope and cheap pickup lines? When you like the aggression in his tone, but you wonder if he kisses mama with that mouth at the same damn time when you like him with a little bit of hood in him, but you want to advocate that he do better. <laughs> <laughs> when you want to show him more than the streets can, but no, that's where he finds his guilty pleasures. When you want to kiss the battle wounds, he tries to dress up with overpriced polo sweaters and tell him, I see you. You wear your flesh as a bulletproof vest, but baby, you see through. Daddy never stayed long enough to teach you and he, you turned around, you turned to the hood to complete you and they turned around and gave you the goods and now you sell the goods to feed you. I caught a hint of your drugs and I shoot you up more than the fiends do. I claim my pussy is power until you grabbed it. My rain dropped in the palm of your hands and we all know ain't nothing like being piped down from the wrong man. Ain't nothing like a good stick from the wrong branch. Ain't nothing like a good fit, but it's off brand. Ain't nothing like reaching out for the cards, but being dealt the wrong hand. We want more than what the time will allow. Wanting a good man to love you, but his circumstances overcloud, shading your thoughts of what you know isn't good for you. Holding on to empty promises and what they do for you. I'm that girl. I'm that girl who thinks she can take an unfulfilled man and show him another world. A world that has never witnessed his tragedy. A world that has never been forced to scope angels out of catastrophe. A world that has never taken the time to get to know him but plagiarize his story. Put titles on shit like Django to get some type of glory. I want to give him his freedom back so he could sing a better tune. But right now, our men's souls are crying out something like that Billie Holiday blues. Because they call you nigga, nigga a natural bone dealer, a man that's enslaved in the brain, they retaliate and kill her. They call you nigga, nigga, to me you're something realer. But anytime you try, they say it's something wrong with you. <laughs> this is um, my last piece. Uh, it's called Another Sad Love Poem um, because this is my perception of what I feel love is and how we take love in, in our community. Um, here I go again, I got another sad love poem. <laughs> but I'll be damned if I sit and listen to another sad love song. Crying to my mother about how another did me wrong and here say yet another, another lover. How many times it's gonna go wrong with another brother? How many poems you gotta write until you love each other? I mean, my, however many I gotta write until it's right, cause I don't know a love associated with another color. Yes, 
I've been knocked down on my knees because of love. The wrong type in hindsight feels sweet because of love. Shit, I've been the best type of me because of love. Sometimes getting ridiculed like, bitch, you weak because of love. Sometimes selfishly wondering why God chose me to fall asleep with my enemies. Disgusted with my body and ashamed like, how did I ever let these spirits get into me? But see, this grown ass woman here ain't tripping though. You know, because after all these years and all these men, some of y'all would have probably labeled me a simple hoe, right? But after all these years and all these men, there's something about love that phases me a little different, though. Like how sharing yourself with another individual has never been meant to be so simple, though. Especially because hurt people hurt people, right? With all these lashes whipped up on your back, pain is the one thing that don't desert people. It just gets passed on with time. Passed on down with trauma dripping through your bloodline, so fucking up becomes an innate thing. Then you find yourself trying to peel back all these layers of generational curses, but there's no escaping. Damn. How does love get taught to the young black man? When the love he saw was equivalent to mom's getting caught with a backhand. How long do you think it takes for him to learn to love with his heart and not his fist? How long do you think it takes for the little girl to start adopting bad habits after she sees that love almost landed moms in a ditch? Thinking, you know, one day it'll be more, so maybe I can settle for this. One day, he'll even the score, so right now I'll settle for the half-ass I'm sorry's as long as they seal it with a kiss. But situations grow tired. How long do fathers have to be gone out of the home before it starts to add fuel to the fire? How long do you go on living life? Then you figuring out that shit, I ain't got no choice but to go through the wire. Figuring out they won't hire because of your skin tone. Knowing that financial burdens are one of the very things that is keeping our black families down. That has us trust in bottles and weed more than we're trusting each other. So now everybody's looking at everybody like everyone's out here fucking around. See, this is what leads to the problems of today. Love goes wrong because of the problems we never face. All these vaccines, flowing through our veins, all these toxins in our brains, they make our kids dysfunctional so they can function in schools. And the very things that are supposed to make them immune are the very things that are making our kids confused. Soon to be known as the kids that are breaking all the rules, mission degrade, everything colored, and they using us as the muse. So when does the healing begin when tragedy is most of our middle names? When we're too focused on trying to make it out of the Hunger Games, love is the last thing on our minds, but the first thing that we want to settle. Baby, you gotta crawl before you walk. You gotta crawl before you can even think you can jump as high as Carmelo. See, some of us will never see live to see the travesties end in our ghettos, stop hearing our mother's bellows, and maybe, I mean, maybe that'll be the day. Maybe that'll be the day that I am able to greet love with a hello. So, hello. Yeah.